This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Manhattan is a family level area control game where you're going to be building skyscrapers and try to control different boroughs throughout the game. Sometimes you'll be building on open spaces, and other times you'll be building so you're at least as many stories as the player that had it before you. And the cards in your hand and your orientation with the board show which location in any of the neighborhoods you might be able to build in. And at the end of each round, the tallest skyscraper in the whole entire board will get three points. Whoever controls the most in each of the boroughs will get two, and you'll get one point for having each of those. So it's an area control where you're stacking on top of people, trying to take control from them, and also trying to have the tallest building, have the most out there, and control areas. And this new edition is beautiful with different character cards to denote your colors of skyscrapers. And the cards you use for placement are also gorgeous compared to what they used to be. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. This new reprinted version of the 1994 Manhattan is beautiful. It's very colorful, aesthetically pleasing, and looks a lot better than my old version that I'll be getting rid of in lieu of this. This game has streamlined mechanisms. You're playing a card and placing a skyscraper. It's simple, but there is a good amount of depth by selecting which skyscrapers at the beginning of the round, by deciding what to go for, which goals, there's different goals. You can go for the highest or have the most in certain areas, or just put a lot of little pieces everywhere and hope you don't get capped for a lot of points. This game has an excellent mix of strategy and luck. Uh, it's one of the best area control family games that I've played, and it holds up well even since 1994. Now the game is a family game, but it can be pretty mean, so for families that don't like direct confrontation, this might not be the game for you. I wish they would have put smaller, no, small numbers on the outside of the tower so it was easier to see the total height of the tower for when you take it over, and I would have loved to have seen extra areas and five or six player variant. This would have been the best opportunity to do that, but overall, love the game. I got a saxophone siren aid, and it booted my old version out. This video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.